Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering how to create students table and employees table in a database by using Python program. Guys, I have uploaded a complete Python programming subject tutorials. I will provide a link in the description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. The create command is used to create the table in the database. By using create command, we can create table in the database. This is syntax in order to create table in the database. At first, you need to write create command and table. Here you need to give table name. For example, I want to give table name as students. So you can write here students. For example, if you want to give table name as employee, you can write here employee. Take brackets and inside brackets, you need to write attribute and type. Attribute is nothing but column names and type is nothing but data type. I will give one simple example. In order to create database by using Python programming, there is one module in Python. That module name is SQLite 3. By using the SQLite 3 module, you can create database. As we know by using import keyword, we can import any module. I want to import SQLite 3. So just write here import SQLite 3. And next take variable name. I want to create database. So I'm taking here variable name as CON. That is nothing but connection. CON equal to module name. That is SQLite 3 dot connect. By using connect method, we can connect to database. If database is already present in my system, then it will connect to the database. But if the database is not present in my system, then it will create the database and it will connect to the database. For example, database is not present in my system. Now I want to create database. So just write here CON equal to module name that is SQLite3 dot connect. By using connect method, we can create database if database is not present in my system. I want to create database. The database name is my database. I'm giving database name as my database. So in quotations write my database dot db. In order to create database, you need to use dot db extension. So double quotations close. Whenever I run this line of code, it will create database. The database name is my database dot db. So it created database. The database name is my database dot db. Now inside this database, I want to create table. The table name is students. So it first write cur equal to my database is present in variable that is con connection. So just write here con dot cursor c u r s o r. If you want to create table or if you want to insert any values into the table, definitely at first you need to take cursor method. So I took here variable name as c u r c u r equal to my database is present in variable that is con. So just write here con dot cursor method. By using cursor method, we can point to database. Now I want to create table. The table name is students. So just write here cursor method is present in variable that is cur. So just write here cur dot execute. By using execute method, we can create tables and we can also insert values into the tables. Guys, definitely in execute method, at first you need to take quotation. So just take here quotation. I already set this syntax in order to create table. So just write here create table. I want to create table only if the table is not present in my database. So create table if not exist, if not EXISTS, definitely write here S, or else it will display error. And here you need to give table name. I want to create table, the table name is students. So just write here students. Create table if not exist, this is table name and take bracket. I want to create three columns. One column name is name, another column name is rule number and another column name is section. So just write here name and here you need to give data type. So just write here text type. Guys, whatever the language that I'm using in order to create this table, we call this language as structured query language. By using structured query language, we can create database and we can perform various operations on the database. This is structured query language. In structured query language, we do not use string type. We use text data type in order to insert any text. So just write written here name text comma. Next, I want to insert rule number. So rule number. We will enter rule number like rule number 1, 2, so on. So it is integer type. So just write here int, comma. Next, I want to insert section. So just write here section. Section is also text type. So just write here text. I open bracket here. So close bracket. And similarly, we need to close this bracket and quotation. So close quotation and close bracket. By using execute method, we can create table. And as well as we can insert values into the table. After writing this line of code, next write here connection because my database is present in variable that is con so just write here con dot commit 
Commit is nothing but by using commit method, we can store data permanently in my database. Commit is used to commit above operation. Even if I close this program, this data will be stored in database permanently. Definitely, if you perform each and every operation like inserting values or any modifications, definitely write here connection.commit. Whenever I run this three lines of code, it will create table. The table name is students and it will insert three columns. One column name is name, another column name is rule number and another column name is section. So inside my database, it will create table. The table name is students and student table contains three columns. One column name is name, another column name is rule number and another column name is section. Now I want to insert data like I want to give name Ramesh, rule number 21 and section A. And similarly, I want to insert some more values. I already said before, if you want to insert any values, then you need to use execute method. So just write here cursor dot execute. So just write here cursor dot execute. I already said before in execute at first you need to take quotation. So in quotations you need to write I want to insert three values into students table. So just write here insert into table name that is students. In students table I am inserting three values. So insert into students values. I want to insert values. First one is name. I want to give name like Sai. As we know we will represent string in quotations. So in quotations I took Sai comma. I want to insert rule number. Rule number is an integer type. So I am giving rule number 12, comma, section. I want to give section like A. A is also string. So take quotations. Okay, close this bracket. And similarly close this quotation. And close execute method. And next similarly I want to insert another value like name Raju, rule number 39, section B. So write same line of code. That is cursor dot execute. Guys, just remember that before execute method, you need to include cursor, not connection. So just write here cur dot execute, and I want to insert data into students table. So just write here insert into students values. I want to insert values like Raju. You need to represent text in double quotations. Rule number thirteen comma section B. Take section B in quotations, and close bracket, close quotation. Here also you need to insert quotation. So close quotation and close execute method. I already said before, whenever you perform any operation, you need to write connection dot commit. So this data will be stored in database permanently. So just write here connection dot commit. Whenever I run this line of code in my database inside students table, it will insert values like Sai, Raju, rule number 12 and rule number 13 and section A and section B. After performing all these operations, at last we need to close our database. My database is present in variable that is con. So just write here connection dot close. This is program in order to create database, in order to insert table in database and in order to insert values. Whenever I run this program, this is my output. Guys, in exam, they may ask separate questions like what is use of connect method, what is use of cursor method, what is use of execute method and what is use of commit method and close method. By using connect method, we can connect to database. If database is not present, it will create database and it will connect to the database. But if database is already present, then it will connect to the database. This is use of connect method. And cursor method is used to point cursor to database. If you want to perform any operations like inserting table, inserting values, at first you need to write cursor method. If you want to execute any query like creating tables, like inserting values, so on, then you need to use execute method. By using execute method, you can execute queries. And whereas commit method is used to commit current transaction. If we do not call this commit method, then once we close our program, then all this data will be lost. For example, after writing this code, if I don't write here commit method, then it will not create this students table and it will not insert any values. Commit method is used to commit transaction and close method is used to close database. Connection object methods are classified into four types. They are cursor method, commit method, rollback method and close method. If you want to undo any transaction, then you need to use rollback method. Rollback method is used to roll back any changes to the database. For example, I want to undo these two operations. So just write here connection dot rollback. Whenever you write here connect dot rollback, then it will undo these two operations. That is nothing but it will not insert these values. Insert command is used to insert values. This is syntax. Insert into table name that is students values. You can give values like name, saw your rule number 21 and section yes so on. Guys, this is another program in order to create employees table. Till now we created students table. Now I want to create employee table. So this is program in order to create employee table. At first you need to import SQLite 3 module. So just write here import SQLite 3 and next write here connection that is con equal to module name that is SQLite 3 dot connect. And I want to connect to database. The database name is 
mydatabase.db and next take cursor object. So, just write here cur equal to my database is present in variable con. So, just write here con dot cursor. Definitely we need to write cursor method. After writing cursor method, I want to create employee table. So, just write here cur that is cursor dot execute. Here you need to write query that is create table if not exist table name is employee. Inside employee table, I want to insert three columns. They are name, employee ID and salary. So, at first write name. Guys, instead of using text data type, you can also use var char data type, where var char stands for variable character. And inside brackets, I took 50. That is nothing but I can enter only up to 50 characters. I cannot enter more than 50 characters. For example, if you consider Sai, here Sai is 3 characters. Like that, I can enter up to 50 characters. So, just I took here name var char 50, comma, employee ID. Employee ID is also string type. So, I took here var char 50. I can enter up to 50 characters, comma, salary is int. So, close this bracket, close this bracket and close quotation and close execute method. And next we need to commit this operation. So, just write here connection dot commit. Now, I want to insert three values. So, just write here cursor dot execute in quotations, insert into table name employee. So, inside employee table, I want to insert values that values are sai, which is variable character. So, take here quotations, comma, employee id inside quotations write employee id like id 512 comma salary i want to give salary like 25000 so just write here 25000 and close this bracket and similarly close this quotation and close execute method similarly i want to insert some more values like ramesh id 512 and 10000 raju id 500 and 40000 after inserting these three values we need to commit this operation so just write here connection dot commit that is con dot commit after performing all these operations, at last we need to close our database. My database is present in variable that is con. So, just write here con dot close. It will close my database. Whenever I run this code, I will get output. Inside my database, it will create employee table. Inside employee table, it will create three columns. One column name is name, another column name is employee ID and another column name is salary. And it will insert values. 